Well, good morning, travelers. Welcome to Traveling with the Graham Cracker. I am the Graham Cracker, and this little appendage that's on my shoulder is Quark. Can you say hi, Quark? Oh, okay. Oh, he disappeared. He's up on my shoulder even more. Are you going to say hi? No? Well, look out the door then, or the window. It's kind of sunny today, but it's windy, 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 and it's very cold. We're down here in Quartzsite, Arizona, and it is not so warm here. People think the desert is warm. I got to tell you, we got a freeze warning coming in, a heavy freeze warning, um, hard freeze, excuse me, a hard freeze warning coming in tonight, I think. So, yes, it's been very cold, and it's going to get colder over the next week or so. January is the desert's coldest month, the lower desert where we are, the southern desert. Um, uh, where we have, where I have my property, it's supposed to get two to four inches of snow tonight or last night. So, um, I don't know. I think it was last night. They got two to four inches of snow, and I'm not sure how much they got. But anyway, the desert is not warm. So um, when you travel out here, make sure you bring some form of heat, bring some jackets and stuff, because as soon as that sun goes down, it gets icy cold right now. It doesn't even take a minute. Uh, the sun is the only way it stays warm here. The temperatures are too cold. So um, what I got to show you today is my newest, latest, and greatest gadget, um, a shower. So, uh, without further ado, I'm going to show you this little clip, and it'll take you right in there. All right, we'll get back at you in a minute. All right. How are you doing this afternoon? I'm going to show you my newest gadget that I got this year that I think is going to be a game changer for van life for me and possibly for others. A lot of you have been online, and you've seen various types of shower setups for van dwellers. Now, I don't have any of those things. For years, I used a two gallon weed sprayer pumper bottle. I can't stand the fact that I gotta pump it every time the water goes down. I've looked at those air pump ones that are in the black bags and they pump up with the air. My guess on those is as the air goes down, the pump kicks in and you gotta continually run that pump. So then the other, other ones are the foot pump, same thing. As soon as your pressure goes down, you gotta pump it up again. So I got sick and tired of those things and they're like 60, $70 a piece. I wanted something cost effective and something that could do the same job that I don't have to pump and pump and pump. At my property, I have a five gallon bucket that I heat about uh, two gallons of water on my little cook stove, which also heats my little um, shower tent. And uh, then I put that in with fresh water that's been in, um, you know, in the sun a little bit so it's not so freaking cold. And then I get the right temperature and I can take a five gallon shower, which lasts for me. I do the spray up, shut it off, soap up, hose it off, and then stand there. And that's about a 10 to 15 minute shower. That's a good long shower for five gallons. Now van traveling is a little different because Five gallons is too heavy for me to haul around for one shower. So I use a five gallon container, but I get at least two showers out of it. And then there's a little water left over. So uh, what I did, and this is what I did, and I'm going to turn you around so you can see what I'm looking at. Right here is a two gallon igloo container, two gallons, eight quart igloo container, insulated so that the water stays warm and this is what I'm going to do with it okay I've been cooking water on the stove here for a few minutes this is my camp stove I'm cooking water and I'm going to pour this in this bucket that's about a two quart pot this is an eight quart uh oh I spilt it on the floor this is an eight quart container that's a two quart pot let me grab a towel get this cleaned up Yes, I can get messy because I'm using the camera and I can't really uh, work on this and clean it up at the same time and not make a mess. Oh well, it's my camper. I'll make a mess. I'll clean it up. Anyway, that's two quarts of very hot boiling water. 
I have a little more just in case I've not figured this out correctly. This is the first time I've gotten a hot shower. Now, like I said, this is insulated bed. That's my shower area for today. Um, I can get a shower. It's under the toilet like I've showed you before. If you watch my shower video, you know where my shower usually is. I can do that. Let me make myself a little bigger. There we go. Make myself a little bigger so you can see me. And I don't have to hold this so far. Anyway, we've got two quarts of very hot water. I am going to fill that container with water to see how warm it is. Yeah, it's about right. So I'm going to have to add that other uh, that other quart of boiling water to it. Let me go up back in here and get it. I've not done this yet with the hot water. I've done it with cooler water, but not with hot. And today the water is mighty cold because we've had cold temperatures. So I'm in the van, picking up my kettle, walking backwards outside the door. And I'm gonna dump this in that bucket that's insulated. Okay, I'm dumping that bucket in. I was gonna make a cup of coffee, but we'll make that later. Set that back in the house. Now, it's not super warm out here today. It is warm, it's warmer than it's been, but we're gonna try this. Okay, that's three quarts. Yeah, that's plenty warm enough with three quarts of water. And I'm gonna fill it all the way to the top. That gives me two gallons. I wish I had a gallon pot to heat the water in, but I don't. I only have a two quart pot. I need a bigger one. So now, walking back to the back of my van and uh, I'm gonna place this where the shower goes. So I'm gonna put you on hold and set that up. The uh, hose that is on my little shower jug has a filter and it goes in there and there's a bolt that takes it down to the bottom. Okay, what I bought was I bought a pressure washer and it comes with this little pump right here and this orange hose here that I've already hooked up and this little it comes with a different faucet, but I bought this one, which gives me a much better spray. And then it comes with your plug-in. It's a cigarette plug-in, which is right here. It's a cigarette plug-in, but I had to buy this piece, which is a converter. Okay, it's a converter, and it is a um, 110 goes into the outlet inside now what i'm gonna do is put you on pause and make sure everything's hooked up um well this piece here goes to the pump and uh then the other piece comes off of the pump and i've got it set up so that it'll run it'll sit in here it'll sit right in here in my basket it's a little heavy for the door but it'll be fine it runs out quickly let me put you on hold and put that in there so I have this I have this pump hooked up on this side is the exit this side over here is the entrance and it goes down into the water jug and it's hot water it's insulated so I'm not in a massive hurry to get done um, I have my shower thing that I will hook over here so I can be secluded and now I'm going to go inside and plug it all in and see if see if he works. Okay, I've got everything plugged in. I got a little red light. I got everything plugged into my solar batteries. I got the water coming through there and this is what I get. Which is a good spray. Very good spray. So I've got two gallons so I don't want to waste it. I'm going to get a shower and I'll be back with you when we're done. 
I didn't time the shower, the amount of time that it took to get the shower. I do know this little pump. Um, this little pump right here uh, does a good job. It is a 100 watt pump. Um, it puts out uh, 8 amps. Um, you have to have a larger converter or larger charge controller to use that pump. Um, a little small one may not work. Um, you probably have to go up to like the medium size. So right now I'm going to disconnect everything to put it all away. Um, the water was not hot. Um, it's cold out here and the water I used in the big five gallon container was cold. Um, so it really was cold when I put it all in but it was like lukewarm which is fine uh, lukewarm's good um, we're gonna freeze tonight so I want to empty all this I don't want it in the freeze uh, so that's gonna get emptied um, those are little caps that come with this thing you got to be careful to take those out they go in this side here and they go in this side here and your water will not go through because they plug it up pretty damn good so I'm going to unplug it because I don't put any of the electrical inside the bucket because I don't want it to get wet. Um, so I'm going to take the hoses off of the pump and put them in the bucket. The really cool part is all the electrical I'm putting in a plastic bag. The uh, shower hose and faucets down in there. I'm going to put the electrical in and see if it'll fit. I've never done this. This is all new to me. I'm just doing it now while I'm dealing with this and see if it at all fit in here. And I think it will. So, yes, it all fits in there. All, the whole shower thing fits in there. The lid goes back on. Now, when it rains, I'm having trouble with that. It's all neat and tightly in there and I push the hoses all in. The deal is, is when you're traveling in the desert though, you get dirt in the top and rainwater. So what I've been doing, and this is not the cleanest rag, but it'll work to keep the dirt out. I put the rag on to keep the dirt out and then I flip it upside down in this little basket because it rides outside. That's all there is to it. My shower is put away. I've used it. I've got a shower. Um, yeah, my hair's clean. My body's clean. I did a shower. I got a little water on the ground out here. Like you see, I got a little water on the ground. That's all the remnants of a shower, a two gallon shower. I used a little shade cloth here that blocks all the viewers and it blocks a lot of the wind. I could use a tarp if I want. I could use a shower curtain if I want, whatever, whatever, whatever. It travels back here with gas can, nice, neat. When I'm running my generator, which is normally what I do, I can plug the whole thing into this outlet right here. But I did try it plugged in inside the house because my generator's gone. I got just bought a new one and we'll show you that one next week. We'll show you the new generator next week. We'll talk to you in a bit. Okay. Well, I hope you enjoyed that little clip um, about the shower. Uh, I am very sorry for how it bounced all over the place with me doing the director's view. I don't do that view very often. Um, and it was kind of not real clear. So I'm going to practice with that a little bit more and try to get better at it. Um, I appreciate you coming along. I welcome and thank every one of you that are new here. Come back, see us again, and learn some things about full-time RV life. Living in the desert, traveling throughout the country, and staying on our piece of property. It's just a wide variety of things. Um, I want to welcome those back that have been here forever and ever and ever and thank you for coming along too i appreciate your comments um, i will link this um, 
pressure washer, which I don't think it would be a very good pressure washer. The water's not uh, pressurized enough. Now it did come with a different nozzle than I showed you in the video. And that nozzle has a real um, a tiny head on it, so it could make it pressured more. But I'm not so sure it would work as a pressure washer. We'll have to check that out and I'll let you know if it does. But I'll put a link in the description below on the Amazon link that I got this little pressure washer. It's only about $27, $29. Super cheap. I also bought the converter on Amazon as well. It converts DC power to AC power. AC is your plugins that go in the wall. DC is what comes off the batteries for those of you that do not know anything about the two different two different types of power. I mentioned that you might have to get what I would say a little medium sized one. The pump is 100 amp hours or 100 excuse me 100 watts. The converter I think is a 300 watt converter. You cannot have a smaller converter than your machine you're running otherwise you'll cause a fire so you have to have a bigger one. So this one was not the cheapest one you can buy. It's a little upgraded. I will eventually be putting plugs into the back of my van for DC outlets. And I will be running that to my battery onboard batteries. So that will help with the shower and whatever else I want to plug in back there. Uh, anyway, thanks for coming along. I hope you enjoyed this. Um, I'm going to put out some more videos about gadgets, I suppose, or tips and tricks. Been on the road now. This is my ninth season on the road. This is the first video of season nine. And uh, I'm not so sure if I have a whole lot of gadgets and tips and tricks left to show you. You can go back into my past um, videos and take a look. I've had some early on. Uh, as we're into nine years, we are just living Okay, we're living like you do in your house, and I'm improving on how my van functions each year I'm living. Like I mentioned, I got a new generator. Um, I'll be talking about that next week. I am in process of purchasing another lithium battery for the van. Now I'll have two of those, and then um, we should have a lot of power then. Um, I'll talk to you about my solar setup as well um, coming up. I don't think I've ever even talked about that or how it was done. I'm not sure. I'll have to go back and look at my own physios and see what I've put out. Anyway, thanks for sticking with me. I enjoy your comments. I enjoy reading them. Um, if you want to support my channel, I do have a PayPal link below in the description. I also have a Teespring t-shirt, mugs, stickers, uh, other clothing items towels that sort of thing i also have a link to the teespring so that if you want any graham cracker merchandise you can go over there if you want to stick it sticker you can go there anyway um leave me your comments put up a thumbs up a like and subscribe and we will talk to you on the next video so follow your heart Embrace your dreams and cherish your life and get out there and do something you enjoy today. All right. We will talk to you later. Bye-bye.